What's up everybody? We are Deanna and Phil. Deanna here is from the United States and I, Phil, am from Germany. And this is still my first time in the US and it's finally time. We are going to a Walmart. Walmart. I have no idea why you're so excited about this. Well, let's find out. Oh my gosh. It's massive. Well, the reason why I'm excited is I saw all these videos on YouTube uh, in the past like Jack Vale with his poodle always farting in Walmart or whatever oh or God. all these pranks that went down in Walmart so it became kind of a, a running joke a running gag for us that I'm super excited to go to Walmart it looks such, <laughs> like such a magical place they have everything it was kind of ironic but I've said it so often that I'm kind of uh, actually excited for it and we're heading there right now here it this is this will be a good comparison for us to compare Walmart to places like Asda, Tesco, Morrison's. That's our different uh, Supermarket. retails. Supermarkets. Yeah. Let's have a look. So we'll see. The Walmart. <laughs> All right, as we enter, first thing, it's still Toys. Halloween, it's October. Even a Walmart, big Halloween selection. I think this is kit stuff, but I wouldn't mind a sort. <laughs> it's Halloween. Phil, I think you should wear one of these wigs. What do you think? Those are wigs? Is that for Halloween or is it regular stuff? These are all creepy. Why are they <laughs> so scary? Oh, we can be... Oh my goodness, you want to be a mouse with me? Not gonna lie, compared to their local, our local uh, supermarket, their Halloween section is pretty big. Yeah. Um, I think ours is a lot smaller. We only smaller. get one aisle. We get that and it's a small aisle as yeah. well. That looks like a quite a long aisle. That looks like three, four aisles. Yeah. yeah. So far, yeah. Look, it even has duh on it. Oh my goodness. I'm a mouse. Duh. 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 Oh. That's what trick or treat. 400 miniature ones. This is a big pack. First thing I'm noticing $24. here, it's a huge supermarket and uh, Reese's. I already see the big packs. How much is this? 3.3 kilograms. That's, That's what I can do in a weekend. Seven pounds or something. That's a lot. Right, this is the craziest section to me. I first saw these and those are all BB guns. And look how cheap they are. $50. $40. Yeah, $35 for like a... What the hell? That's rifle looking BB gun or whatever. But... Welcome to America. <laughs> no way. This is Welcome to America. Yo. We are in a Walmart still and there are actual guns here. A firearm return policy. <laughs> oh shit. If you press the trigger once, no returns. Yeah. Oh, that's mad. You know, that baffles me because obviously as you guys know in the UK, having a gun is like... It's One a crime. million, and you're going straight to prison for yeah. a very long time if you get caught. To have, the fact that there's just guns being sold at your local, like, grow, like I think that's it's to not me, normal it's, for us, but obviously in the States, it's normal for everybody over there. For us, it's such a big deal. Yeah. Like, that is a lifetime in prison, just holding I wonder it. what the returns policy is. Once it's registered under your name, it's non refundable. Something along the lines of that, it must be. $250, $600. Like, those are actual Damn. shotguns, I think. That's wow. mad. Wow. Yo! You can get them all the camouflage colors. I feel like if you get a gun and you get in a camouflage color, that's sick. You're even more redneck than normal. Like, no, you're probably <laughs> a hunter. Yeah, well, you don't, I don't know, whatever. I think those are like actual rifles. It's like Call of Duty. Accessories here, the scopes, get binoculars, get some knives. And oh, they got mods for the guns as well, so you can literally add scopes and everything. Why isn't anyone standing behind there? It's all locked up, but still. Yeah, but there you've should got... be, yeah, to fit like a gun. I mean, that's how it is. That's how normal it is. You could just leave it. No, but you know what it is? Because there's armed people. Like in Walmart, I'm sure the security. Uh, guys, you know, because America's got so much like guns generally, I'm assuming the normal security guard of like a Walmart, for example, they must be strapped. They must be. In the UK, they'll have at most... No, they won't even have a taser. I was going to say maybe like a taser or something. What, the security? Yeah, like... I don't think so. In growth, like Asda and stuff. No. Nothing. So, like, because there's guns in America, all these, like, normal retail security, they're probably all strapped up. They, they have must to be. Because everyone else got guns. Yeah. Like, who are legally allowed to have it. So that's probably why they're confident leaving it out, because they know they're mm. strapped, boy. They, they ain't here to play, boy. And then in the background, you have all the crazy guns. That's Look nuts. at the huge shotgun. Why is that 147? Is that not real? 
<laughs> kind of looked online a little bit and you can get decent guns for like two to four hundred dollars nine millimeter pistol like a glock or something that's just 350 400 dollars oh that's, that's crazy that's like guns. cheap stuff everybody can afford that in the us right yeah it's that's like fun. a week of groceries you can get yeah. a full-on deadly weapon for that i feel scared let's go in a different place okay. <laughs> right so they have a bar soap section as i told you all the bar soaps but Finally, I found the body washes. <laughs> this is what you're looking for. Yeah, but look at the sizes. How much is this? 700 milliliters. Massive. For 547. Weird, crooked number. We so could've... they have the body wash, they have the shower gel. Yeah, we couldn't uh, find amazing. it at the other supermarkets. But before. the Americans go for this one. <laughs> That's what I use. <laughs> <laughs> I got that. It's a bit different, uh, the color of the pack, but I got Dove Menke. Yeah, but, you've got the blue one, but you which guys I think like, I can see over there. Yeah, i got the blue one, but look, there's so many other ones. In the wow. UK, I think there's like my local only place one. only has one or two. One, yeah. Yeah. they got a yellow one, a black one. I bet the black one smells banging. The red one. Red one. Yeah, we don't have any of that. The hell? Variety. I'm missing out in life. Yeah. Get your, how many are those? 10 bar soaps? I don't know. It's just a very expensive to me. Suave man. Is that like a Walmart brand? I think it's a cheaper or Walmart brand. So I can finally shower. He hasn't showered the whole time. <laughs> like it's <right>. disgusting. <laughs> Denture <laughs> cleanser. What is that? I need it for my retainer. <laughs> Kills millions of bacteria. Fights odor. Fair enough. Removes stains. For your container? I need it for my retainer. Oh. Keep your teeth dry. Okay. There's a garden section and they have oh, look how tree big made is. Christmas trees with all the lights on. There's so much Christmas stuff. The so cute. Yeah, they start putting the Christmas stuff out so early. Some people get so mad. Why do they get mad? I don't know. They just get annoyed. They'll start playing Christmas music in October. Are you getting mad? No, I like it. What comes next? Fourth of July stuff? <laughs> Eastern? New you, Year. Do you celebrate Eastern here? Yeah. Do you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's not Christmas. Who are you? <laughs> okay, Stop question. Black goat. Deanna likes the Christmas stuff. I'm neutral. Do you get annoyed with the Christmas stuff being out this early? Good question. Does it bother you? The thing is, in retail, they are always ahead. When it's winter, they're going to start advertising summer clothes to get ready for summer. When it's summer, they start bringing out the winter clothes. When there's events going on, they start Months early. before, like two months before. Maybe months, they start earlier. But Christmas, they do start it earlier. Does it bother you? In my opinion, it should start on 1st of December. Yeah. That's my opinion. Or end of November. Especially the Christmas music. I don't want to be listening I think to it, Christmas I think music. it bothers me, but I get it. They're a business. They want to start early. So people who are keen to get it early... They, and they do a sale. lot of people do start doing the Christmas shopping early, from yeah. early as well. So I get it as a business standpoint, but me personally, it's annoying. Yeah. Like you said, I don't want to hear Christmas songs in October. Well, nah. It's a bit weird. Yeah. And uh, I feel like it's a little bit, they're forcing you to buy She's things, loving these toys, isn't let it? Let us know if you get annoyed with that. Pick up, pick up, pick up. <gasps> <laughs> you love that. <laughs> Ooh, it feels like we're suddenly in another store. It's clothing. a full-on clothing store. We've got colleges, Clemson. Clemson. And oh, nice. USC, University of South Carolina. What back is that? there. The purple stuff? Yeah, it's the Garnet. No, that's Clemson. Tigers. I always wonder what all the Dutch stuff is doing here. Dutch? Yeah, nobody likes Dutch. Well, actually, everybody likes the Dutch, but <laughs> <laughs> it's so orange. Like, look at that stuff. Are the Dutch known for orange? Yeah, they're the orange. Oh, I don't know. Holland. I'm from Rotterdam. Don't wear that. It's insulting. <laughs> it looks horrible, to be honest. The orange stuff. <laughs> Are you a Clemson or a USC fan? Game! Cox! Oh, I do like the uh, red one better. Look-wise. I don't know anything about the teams. So what is that like? College, uh, like Football sportswear. teams. Yeah, but it's college. You know how college football is so big oh, and college basketball? Oh, yes. It's yeah. big in America. In the UK, it's not a thing. But yeah, they promote their local That's cool. colleges and yeah. that to a high level. Or neither. Because their stadium is sell out. Wow, cool kid. Hey, hey Phil. I've got your back. Camouflage <laughs> stuff around here. Like you don't have to be redneck to have camouflage. Why go? Come with my truck. I'm coming in with my truck. And oh, I'm, uh, I'm loading my gun. Oh. Makes no sense. But I'm going to go and buy me some camouflage stuff and maybe new truck ahead. You sound Australian. Yeah. Uh, new truck ahead. It's fair dinkum nice. 
<laughs> Let's see if we can turn myself into an American. He honestly really wants a lumberjack outfit, but I told him I don't know why. <laughs> Let me know if it looks good. <gasps> it doesn't. Oh my. He does look like a red redneck. Like he does. Like, yeah, he looks proper, American now. Proper. Goodness, no. Please, no. This is a gun. I'm not into it. Camo gun. No? Yeah. I feel good. I feel important. I feel less attracted to you. I think all the girls will fall in love with me. <laughs> right at the second. I don't think anyone's falling in love with you. <laughs> He's funny. Why? This is so cringe. This is so frightening. Do the accent. Carry a concealed weapon. I need to protect my family and my property. <laughs> That's why I wear these outfits. Please step back, sir. This could be interpreted as an assault to you. Why does your voice get more nasally? You sound nerdy. That's how the people talk. <laughs> no one talks like that. Yeah, it's somebody who has a higher pitched voice but tries to be intimidating. That is funny. I feel so unattracted to you right now. She's my bone break is up gone. Again. So pro. <laughs> oh wow. Lego's a big deal, man. Yeah. People proper go in on Lego. They got a lot. Wow. TV. Dude, this is so awesome. They have a whole anime section here. I love that. Samurai Champloo, one of my favorites. More they like have that. Ghost in the Shell, My Hero Academia. Oh, Dragon Ball. They have Spirited Away. All the Dragon Ball stuff. Oh, that's more. Dragon Ball. Moving Castle, Kiki's Delivery Service. This is what I'm missing. I always imagined that Japan has all this stuff and I want Pokemon. that. Pokemon. Well, yeah, our uh, supermarkets won't have anything None anime. of them. At most, they might have like a Pokemon thing just because of the kids, but they won't have a dedicated anime section no. like that. No. My yeah. Life. yeah. <laughs> Finally getting close to the food section. We made it to the food. Oreos. <laughs> oh, this so many. It's just Oreos. Dude, oh my God. Cake. I've never seen that before. A couple things strike me here. The amount of different Oreos. What the hell? Probably 20 different versions and we should eat them all and see which one is the best. We haven't got one. Yeah, but also look at it. This is like four two. sixty plus things and it's it's a huge portion. It's a family pack. Yeah, that's that's party. That's party family. <laughs> family is still pretty big. Whoa, fudge covered. It sounds amazing. That sounds really good. Everything with fudge. 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 Small portions. They don't have any small okay. ones. 432 gram. It's the smallest version. So if we want to try them all, we have to buy 20 for an average of four dollars gonna be eighty dollars of oreos the Worth prices it. are so weird they're also crooked like we have usually 249 299 uh, something like yeah. that 356 274 i have to add the tax afterwards why is that that's very random to do that number we're usually 99 where yeah 99. Point 99 and apparently it's a psychological thing uh selling like things at 99 because it looks cheaper than it is mentally but that one, that three five three point five six, two seventy four, just looks to me looks odd because I'm not used to seeing stuff. Two ninety eight, wow. Yeah. And it's so dumb. It's like I don't know. I'm not paying two seventy four for this one, and I'm not paying two fifty six for that one. Fourteen seventy four. What kind of price is that? And you're adding I don't know seven percent tax or something like that. Oh yeah, and and it's going to be fifteen thirty five. And you have no idea. But again, look at this. 240 pieces. It's for Halloween. Yeah. I look at, you can it's even get a baby in here. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Dude, I was totally looking for energy drinks the other day. And I went with the uh, standard Monster Energy. But I see this Rain brand displayed in every supermarket. And I was like, it's probably the same stuff. And I had a look at it and check this thing out. It says, 300 milligram of caffeine in this can and the can is a uh, little under 500 milliliters it's like 70 milligram per 100 milliliters and in europe the legal limit is 32 every red bull every month oh, no way has 32 milligram this has about 70 so that's twice as crazy Ooh. interesting i don't know anything more about than twice energy drinks it's crazy dude that blew my mind if you're drinking a whole can of this you're like running through a wall <laughs> That's what you call an energy drink. Oh my goodness, this is childhood honey buns. Have you had this before? We, we had, had a honey, honey bun. Watch our video on that our channel. That was really nice. It was actually good. But we missed out because apparently meant to, if you microwave it for 10 seconds, it's like the best thing ever. And also because we had a lot of sweets, yeah. a lot of cakes, it just got a bit too much. Che once we check got out to the video honey bun. though on the American snacks. Loved it. We, we enjoyed a lot yeah. of it.
before? No. And Swiss rolls. Have oh, you ever Swiss had rolls. these before? Little Debbie has uh, them. Yeah, we have something similar. We should just try them all. Oh my goodness. All right, here's a good example of prices and sizes. This is everyday low price, right? And it's just a pack of Kraft cheese slices. And it's four dollars. And to me, that's like, oh my god, it's pretty expensive. But also, it's 450 grams. It's a whole pound. I think almost 200 grams. So this is like two normal size in Germany. That does sound like quite a lot for that small bag. The red cups, the famous of beer course. pong cups, right? Well, they're solo cups, but this is the Walmart brand of solo cups. Oh, there's an official brand, which are the right ones? Yeah, solo cups. Ah, uh, we don't have them. You have to order them on Amazon, super overpriced. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> These have white, small ones, crappy ones. That's so funny. This yeah. is like college. Same in the UK. Yeah. Just beans, three kilograms, one can. All the beans. 334. That's actually not that expensive. With a nice little glass of pickles on the side. <laughs> I love pickles. That well, is no, massive. No, 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 no. That's too big. 10 pounds. It's like a baby. Of, of boneless chicken. This is what I live off. It's $10. It's dollar per pound. It's so cheap. Chicken is something that's very cheap in the US. It's crazy. So one thing I'm noticing, this is the chocolate section. And the actual chocolate, that is pure Lint. chocolate, is very little in the US. Yeah. They have a couple of lint brands here. And there's some Hershey's here. Um, but it's all with Reese's nuts bar. or something. Ooh. And we have a Reese's lot of bar. pure chocolate. The Milka brand, Ritter Sport, and everybody goes for the milk oh. chocolate, the standard version. Yeah. But I think you have way, way more cookies and chips and like candy bars. But yeah. the pure chocolate is very limited, right? Well, yeah, they have a great value, Hershey's. And then we have like all these imported with the lint. But yeah, it's usually filled with something. That's what I'm saying. It's the, the, the normal chocolate is hard to find. Like, yeah. which one should I pick for normal chocolate. lint chocolate that I want? I like lint. Well, lint is, it's $3 for... That's but that's for, dark chocolate it's $3 as well. for 100 grams and it's Swiss. So where's the American one? That's the American <laughs> one. It's 200 grams Hershey's. for two dollars. So that's also the cheapest one here. Let's try. Cheesy pie. This is the embodiment of America. Cheese balls. Bolitas de queso. I love cheese balls. I bet balls. they're good. Baked cheddar. I could just tell them. Addictive. Only 150 calories per serving. There's one thing that annoys me. It always states per serving. And then I have to look at how much is a serving. The serving is 28 grams. It's kind of like four times. So 600 calories per 100 grams. So now I know it's very bad. But if people just look at it, oh, serving 150, that's nice. It's 800 grams. It's like 5,000 calories in that thing. You end up buying the whole thing, worth buying it. and eating it. That is worth it. Dude, frozen food section. Oh my God. The frozen aisle was massive. Look at it towards the end. Walmart has, you can go into Walmart and do your whole shopping. They had TVs, they had vacuums, they've got clothes, they had they home got food. Stuff. They got accessories. You can live in Walmart for a good like five years and be all right. I think forever you can live <laughs> in Walmart, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. If the if something was happening to the earth, Walmart. we had an apocalypse or something. Walmart. I'll go to a Walmart and I'll live just, over there. That's, that's what I'll the do. first spot I'll go. I'm sure they probably got a stove in there or yeah, something. Yeah, they, they will. They will. They got everything. If they're selling vacuums, they must have massive. It's like Bucky's. The Bucky's. Bucky's place that was massive as well. That had everything. Was it like Walmart? I don't think, I think it's like Walmart's Walmart, got though. more though. Yeah. yeah, Walmart's got more. And Bucky's is more of its own brand yeah. as well, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my god! I just spotted these. Look at that. The White wow, Castle sliders. Twenty and bucks for. Why are they? Why are they twenty bucks? Ah, uh, I never went to White Castle. You have a whole movie, Harold and Kuma. Go to White Castle. I'm not seeing it. So it must be amazing. Anyway, dude, look at the Frozen section. I think it's very nice. You have very nice closets here. <laughs> They're not closets. I just want to point out the pizza sizes because Let's I like see. frozen pizza. Me too. Like you these do. are kind of the smallest ones. Five hundred gram. And that's like $5.50, $5.50, which is kind of expensive. Look at that, that's a normal sized pizza here. Yeah, $5.50 before the tax. You know well. what? That's a lot. We watched a previous Walmart video and it was not as descriptive as this video. Oh, this is way better. Much better than the previous one. And I like how he's looking at the per gram, per, and he's, you know. He's comparing it to uh, where he's from, Germany as well. Yeah, which I think is really good because it helps us, you know, differentiate 
the, in terms of price points yeah, and everything. It definitely helps. Yeah. But this video is way better. Much better because we can see the whole of Walmart. Exactly. Yeah. 750 grams. So that's like easily two pizzas of the normal ones, Dr. Oetker, that's whatever. That's massive. It's like $8 for a frozen pizza, that's $9.73 a lot. for a frozen pizza, $6.34. Frozen section is crazy. There are like three of these aisles, so six of these super That's long really expensive, hallways of frozen, frozen food. I like it. Dude, I'm so excited that I found these. <laughs> Deanna and Phil go into White Castle. <laughs> bakery now. I love bakery. Bikes. I just met a fan. The fans are all here. How are you doing? This might be our biggest... You know, you said about the apocalypse and they got guns stored there. There you go. Walmart is the place the to go. Zombies are coming, yeah. Pow, 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 pow. Oh, my if there's camo, an apocalypse my or camo there's something's happening to the world, you go find the Walmart. There's guns waiting. First, you need to go to America and find the bullets. Walmart. There's probably bullets there. Everything. Yeah, there must be. Everything. This fan. But this fan might be just equally as big. It's very nice to meet you. <laughs> A lot of fans around here. I like that. Oh, he's, like he's gonna tell all off. You don't have to interact with people. I got it in the end. Yeah, I thought he was gonna buy it. He said his girlfriend made him look good. Woo! <laughs> it was good. It was not as crazy as I thought. We got some stuff. Yeah. You got some nice cheese balls. Got there. the cheese balls. I wanted them after you pointed them out. It's a big pack. We're gonna try them. Ah, yeah. It's an interesting supermarket. You have so many sections. Like, there's an abundance of food of availability there. I really enjoyed it. I like the, the Walmart experience. And I feel like you could live just going to Walmart. You can yeah. decorate That's what your you home. Said. You yeah. get your car needs. There's a pharmacy in there. All the food, of course, and clothing section. There's yeah. really no need to go Guns. somewhere else than Walmart. Our supermarkets usually don't have the clothing section or the pharmacy section. It's nice. Yeah, I like it. Walmart, <laughs> damn. You didn't disappoint me. <laughs> this trip was definitely worth it. I haven't had these in like Let's over see. 10 years. Mm. They're so dry. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, that was my first Walmart experience. I am not. What did you think of Walmart? That's a proper vi video for Walmart, so it was good. I see. cannot wait to visit the US and for us to explore these places ourselves. Yeah. I'm gonna be like a big kid going oh, to Walmart. Oh my God, going to Walmart will be there for five hours because of her. I'll be there for ages. I know you will. Even when I go to the supermarket, I like to look at everything. Everything. Look. Everything. You never know, you might be like, oh my gosh, I don't think I needed this. But Let me grab some of that. It's good though for content because it means we're gonna be recording a lot yeah we'll have a separate bakery section <laughs> we'll have an anime section everything just everything content for you guys yeah i liked his video though he showed a lot of detail yeah. and i'd love to experience it ourselves guys thank you so much for recommending that video don't forget to like and subscribe keep commenting below what we should react to for now peace out bye